guys, my name is Sewao and I'm going to teach you how to paint with splatter and how to paint beautiful on Photoshop. Now, firstly, you that your Photoshop usually hang like, you know, that, you know, that's going slowly, then use this trick first. By pressing Ctrl plus R and then CMD, then you click on Enter, then you click on the code. Right now that I'm really typing like Dell, then space percent temp you know you see it on the description link you can see what i'm really writing right now but see it on the description link and once you're done then you click on enter then something will occur i'm giving you 100 assurance that you won't lost any data okay nothing will go away from your pc just only the temporary files that you that's not usable that will go away so once you're done that's all then now let's work to photoshop then everything will go smoothly now now Let's paint this picture, picture of this mother and that daughter. So let's paint this picture. And now, the first tools I'm going to use now is I'm going to teach you magic on Photoshop, how to remove any watermark on Photoshop. The first thing is now, make sure you unlock the image. And the second tool we are going to use now is healing brush. Click on your healing brush like what you see, then paint the side you don't want and wait for just a few seconds let it load and let's see the magic is that's going to happen right now now let's wait you can see wow this is amazing and make sure you click on one by one like what you see then do that and decrease the brush size and also do that you'll see the magic you know removing the watermark removing the name away from the photo and and it's neat that's just it and make sure you watch this video to the very very end because there are a lot of tricks and magic and shortcuts on this video i did this video due to the comment i had that you know my video is too fast and you know they want it well edited and this is the video that you are really going to enjoy at the end of the day so just make sure you follow on and if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel please do subscribe for more videos coming out to blow your mind now the first thing we're going to do now is I want to enlarge the picture so I want to increase the size of the color then I use my crop to I think I love this then I think this is okay then I'm going to click on okay now the next one I'm going to use now is the pen tool the pen tool is used to remove uh, the background of every image you're working on so you just trace it just as if you're drawing you trace it according to the image as if you drawing that as if you want to draw the girl you trace it and whenever you're tracing with a pen tools make sure you always use your your control key and your hot key the hot key is used to break a point once you drag on the curve edges then you click on your hot down then you click on enter to break the points of the curve side like what you see that like what i'm doing right now you know making a curve then you can see making a curve then breaking the points the middle points of the curve that's just it control plus enter will break it you can see now this will really take your time while you're doing it and whenever like whenever you want to paint on photoshop make sure you have time for yourself to paint don't just paint anyhow just just wash yourself don't just sit on your computer and just paint out something people won't say wow to so make sure you take your time like okay now i want to paint now let me give myself three to two hours or two to four hours and, and nobody's going to disturb me that moment and i'm not going to pick any call i'm not going to face just make sure you face the paintings and give it full attention that's the only way people can say wow to your paintings there is no other secret that's the only thing so let's just remove the background and right now i'm going to forward this removing of the background of it in. it's just the same process you just trace it and once you trace it you have to go back to the where you start from like you go have to go back trace back to where you start from then we are going to do the necessary procedure let me fast forward this so that we can go back to where we start from okay thank you for watching everything is so
12 trace back to where we start from like you see then we are going to press ctrl plus enter and then ctrl plus j you can see we trace back to where we started it from so that's just it once you press ctrl plus enter then you press delete or you press ctrl plus j to remove the background and now you can see the background we just have some background we need to trace out so just use your pen to go there and just trace them out and make sure you just trace them nicely and press ctrl plus enter and then press delete on your keypad then you have nothing to worry then you successfully remove background and there are many ways of removing background but i'm telling you this is the only way that is good to remove a digital painting's background for you to retain to also regain your quality like your high quality back like if you use another kind of you know uh background remover maybe probably online you it will reduce quality or you use your quick selection too then you have some edges that you need to you know to face and that will give you many challenge to do so this is just the actual this is just the normal and the real uh, way to remove background for digital pens by using your pen tools that's just it so there's nothing hard about it i hope this video is not really fast for you to learn or for you to understand so it's due to my due to the comment I, that is why i have to do this amazing and wonderful video for you please just take your time to watch it and if no you bored about it you can just leave it and go get a coffee then or you walk out then and come back to it to come and watch now you can see you have successfully removed the background that's really, really nice so i'm just going to save my work with any kind of name and you can also save yours and that's just it and mind you i also love to be duplicating my work because at times photoshop CSS do crash like just you know automatically you know to make it i don't know if that have happened to you before but sometimes it corrupts my you know document so that's just it now let me the next thing i'm going to use now is that i want to use your saturation color because i don't love the clothes she's putting on like i really want to change her color and that this is the actual secret of using of changing any color of a picture so use your saturation then click drag according just drag to your satisfaction until you find a color that the clothes want this is just kind of magic on photoshop that's why you need to watch this video to the very very end to see different kind of amazing magic and amazing touches on photoshop now you can see that this color is really nice but i don't really like it we make the paintings though i think this color is wow nice but look at the face not cool and look at now what you are going to do next is there's a secret for it i love the clothes but the um the it affects the skin and it's not really really cool unless this is the secret we are going to press ctrl plus i ctrl plus i will make the layer inverse then make sure you click on your brush too and make sure the white layer is up make sure you have the white layer on your color for uh, color the uh, background is it, is it called foreground or background no i think it's foreground so now you use your brush to paint the clothes then the actual color on the you know use saturation then we come out and this will not affect the skin the reason why it's not affecting the skin is because you put the layer on inverse color by pressing ctrl plus high can you see this is magic right it's a magic <laughs> i'm not sure it's magic but i'll call it magic because it's just amazing now you can see it's not really really affecting the you can change color for any clothes but with this kind of help this is the only thing you can do, you know, to make your work come out nice. You know, there are some clothes that will look dull and there are some clothes that will look not good. So you just need to be creative. This is just part of, you know, creativity. That's just it. So make sure you take your time, you know, to do this. And right now, you're really not painting the clothes, just that you're giving the clothes the color you want. We're still going to paint everything like add our own colors to it this is just the color i really want her to put on for the clothes because the blue uh, jean she's putting on is you know kind of white and i don't really like it so that's just it so you can see you can see right now i'm not going to fold this side just want to see see how i did and that's just the same process using your brush you know, to paint out the clothes and make sure you have foreground of white color you know it's just nice nothing is really, really hard there in case you forget i press ctrl plus i for the inverse color 
that's just it and make sure you on the layer of um of the use saturation and if you are new to photoshop if this is your first time of using photoshop just you can learn photoshop from this side like you know and be perfect all you just need to do is take your time and be patient you know don't be, just try to be a master in a day it's not easy home is not built in a day so just take your time and learn that's just it and you become a fool one day in fact i you become a fool than me one day one day now merge everything down what you've done you can see everything is nice now the next thing right now i think the next thing is oil painting if you only have oil painting on your photoshop then you can go but right now let's give it shadow highlight you go to image then adjustment then shadow highlight you can see that the image pop up then uh, increase the amount of highlights to three and reduce the shadow to your satisfaction that's just it then once you're done now i think let's i pass the image then i'm going to give it a brightness because the image kind of look dull and not so i'm going to click on my you know brightness color and increase like that what you see then you also what match it down now look at the image the image is nice now but let me make it you know sharp again more you press ctrl j then change the first option to linear light then once you're done with linear light then you duplicate the image first of all decrease the you know linear light of the layer like to one or two percent then press ctrl j again to duplicate the image like okay this now press ctrl j then increase the amount of the layer then go to filter order then high pass then you can see then you can decrease the amount of high pass to 1.9 or 1.3 or 1.2 to any satisfaction you want just decrease it and once you're done then you can click on okay and that's really cool now the image then you match everything down all together now the image is really cool and nice so the next step is you no know, oil painting that's just it so mind you i'm duplicating my work that's just it so you can see this painting is really nice and it gives me beautiful and nice background for my pc i really like it painting is life just make sure you learn how to paint that's just it so now let's go to our oil painting i think it's time to oil paint our work if the oil painting of your system is really really working you can go to filter you can go to filter then oil paint then make sure you oil paint your image if this is your first time of watching this if you do not really understand my oil painting then you can go back to watch the previous you know oil painting on the youtube that's just it but if this is your this is not your first time let's proceed my oil painting on my photoshop is not really working due to low graphics card then i used for the p4 you know I use photo p to oil paint my work then i'm going to upload my psd to photo p.com then it, I'm, it's going to load out now once it's loaded out then you go to filter then you click on oil painting then let's wait for it to have the effect of the oil painting due to your you know due to your file it can be large so you just need to give it a little bit of time it does not hang but people think it's hang it's due to the file you have that is why let me just say i'm done oil painting then i'm going to upload the image back to photoshop if this is your first time of watching my video please go back to my previous video and watch the oil painting part so like i know how i did the oil painting i think this my file is kind of too large and it's making my photo p not really working well but i just you know skip that side like i quickly or paint it and skip that side so that's just it now you can see i've updated the image like kind of loading to bring out the oil painting part one just just it then after that we just need to smudge the skin it's time to really smudge the skin well like okay let's wait for it to load you can see that the file is really really large kind of loading my god that's cool then we're going to have amazing output once your file is large you are going to have amazing outputs. once your file kind of low like low like low 
then when you save it you have a blurry picture no 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 that's just the secret of how my page my picture usually come out nice like i work with large files now create a duplicate your image by pressing ctrl j and create a clipping max now let's choose a smudge brush click on the smudge tool and make sure you choose this, your, this special brush which will be down on the description link and that's 65 then once you choose it then make sure you decrease the brush so maybe 20 or from 20 downward or 21 22 23 anyone just make sure it's not above 25 then smudge to your side just see the way i am smudging like you know you then the secret of smudge is that you smudge to balance the skin not to make it smooth we think we always smudge to make it smooth it's fine whenever we're smudging the skin is usually smooth but we smudge to make the skin color of balance like the shadows to be in the shadow part the highlights to be in the highlight part so some just you know smudge the shadow part and bring it down to the white part and that's not cool just let the black be on the black part and the white be on the white part look at the way i am smudging i smudge carefully like smudge according to the skin that's the secret that people don't know like they just smudge roughly and put paint color on it there's one thing about the skin if you smudge any you won't see it right now it's when you started hard if when you start to hard color i mean if you start adding color then you see you walk you see the kind of smudging you do for yourself then then you there will be no correction back and there will be no way for you to undo the work back so you just need to take your time to smudge like what you see right now see look at where i smudged the kind of the edge it's not cool now i'm going to correct myself back to make it balance for you to see that's just how to smudge out mind you there are another way of doing that there are some images that will that love a lot of correction what you do is that whenever you have smudged with your 10 or your 25 percent opacity or 20 percent after smudging everything come back and we smudge with 10 percent opacity 10 percent opacity will balance every part for you that is not well smudged 10 percent opacity will balance everything for you you can see the forehead is really really not cool i don't really like it myself so i'm still on it i still need to balance the skin that's just how to you know smudge not that you just smudge anyhow and no because the main thing about these paintings is smudging adding color is the easiest thing in paintings adding color just add color but when you smudge and make it smooth that's going to give you good output now you can see now that my smudging of the head is nice now so i can proceed to another side now keep smudging another side you can see Do you see this is really really cool and it's going nice and make sure you increase the brush to the size of the place you're smudging and increase it to the size of the place you're smudging that's just it always watch always work with your increase in of brush and the decrease in of brush the 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 bracket on your keypad is used for you know increasing and decreasing not the circle bracket i mean the other bracket the, the first one is just, is just for decreasing and the second one is just for increasing. You don't need to press any other key to it. Just press the bracket. Just press it. Keep tapping it. it the brush will keep increasing. And keep tapping the second one. The brush will what decrease. You don't need to press shift. You don't need to press alt. You don't need to press control. Just tap it. I mean the bracket. Not the number bracket. But the bracket, I think. Is, is it letter or... I don't know. Sure. I don't know. But that's just it. Because I'm right now. That's just the way you smudge everything, both the leaves, everything the same way. So, guys, I'm going to forward this side so that we won't get bored of just only smudging. We need to proceed to our other magic tools too. That's just it. So, guys, let's proceed. I'm going to forward it a little.
right now I'm done smudging then I'm going to duplicate my work then now it's time to add the skin color to the you know to, to the image there's nothing like skin combo color and people asking me for skin combo color every skin are different just know how you to play with the skin pick this color from the skin but for dark people i have a special color code i usually use and that is uh, hd 8 b60 i'm going to post it on the description link and that always work for special dark so just pick color and make sure you fill it and change the option there to color now you'll be having something like this and this is really a nice color but make sure you play and work along with your color that's just it that's the way I do. There's nothing like special skin color. Skin color. The only way, the as in, the only special skin color I have and that I really find and that I really see that's really working is for the dark skin girl, dark skin guy. That's just it. So it's really, really working for them. I've like I've used it many times and it's really work out. So I think that's a special color. But for this kind of skin color, you keep picking skin color from the skin or you know keep doing now right now you can see i'm giving it a brightness like the image i think the image needs to be to bright a little so that's just it and you can see now i think i'm going to still pick color i'm not yet satisfied with the color until i'm satisfied with the color then i'll be okay with it now I th wow, I think this color is nice. Oh my god, I think. Wow, I think I love this color, but kind of too. Mm, no. mm, I think it's okay. Just make sure you play along and you work with your color until you arrive at final color that you really want. That's just it. Now I'm going to fill it with this one. I think I love this color. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick my soft razor brush then to start. You know, erasing the part I don't want, like especially the eyes, the the eyebrow, and some other part too. Also, that I really don't want. Then I'm going to change my soft eraser brush to my eraser brush to soft eraser brush. That's just it. So, like now, then I'll start doing that. You can see, this is really cool. Now you also do that to the other high part too. And make sure you take your time and like this will really take your time to also just make sure you take your time to you know erase the parts if you don't want i'm going to fold this one too also because it's just only for you to you know to to erase the color you don't want that's just it so i'm just going to fold this side too also we don't really need it now now the mouth the clothes then the then the teeth and that's just the leaves too also that's just it we only want the color to affect the skin only so you can see that we have work to do now let's keep you know, erasing and make sure you erase well okay Now we are done, you know, raising the parts we don't want. Now it's time to add color. Create a new layer and create the clipping marks 
and make sure the layer is on color the option layer you change the option layer to color then pick color from the you know from the head tie she's putting on then make sure you paint and change the option layer to color then you have something like this and keep painting this is what will make it look you know like an artwork or smudge painting or digital paintings or whatever you want to call it this is just to make it look cartoonic that's just as cartoonic so and you feel free to work with the layer like change it to overlay you can see it's not good change it to soft light not this one is cool but it's not looking cartoonic so we have to change it to color and that's just the best bet so let's keep painting i think this is really really nice so let's keep painting and also make sure you feel free to paint out because you have your soft razor brush with you and once you don't click on your soft razor brush then click keep raising the parts that you know that is not supposed to be and you see there is no thing hard on painting you just need to take your time you know to do that and if this is your first time of watching my youtube channel please do subscribe and if you the type that usually download that you know if you i mean if you download my video like and you're watching and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please uh, please go back to subscribe you know you can use that to support say wow graphics for more videos coming out so that for you to get more notification about it that's just it that's one thing about art you know art never stop for more updates we keep coming out so that's just it now use your soft razor brush to clean this part that you don't want and it's going to look nice oh my god this is cool and clean the way wow this is good so right now i'm smudging that part i think i did not smudge it well so that's just it yeah. that just it oh my god it's when you hear ah god this will really stop my video okay now also paint the you no know, the baby hair tie too the same color with her mom that's just it make sure you paint well and feel free to paint out also because you have your soft razor brush with you then you can easily erase the part you know you don't want that's why we call it um should i say that's why we're artists yes yeah, that's why we are really an artist so that's why we need to paint this one out like raise it out then you can see this is nice and this is cool then after this one the next painting is the clothes and the next painting is the mouth the eyebrow to leaves and the other painting should be no that's just it you just keep adding painting to you know to every part of it so there's nothing really really out about these digital paintings everything is cool easy simple and you know calm just need to take your time and if you're bored like what i used to say you need to go out just take a walk or take a coffee that's just it and come back to it sit down with it then you get it there's nothing hard about paintings you just need to take your time and if this is your first time of using photoshop like you need the only tutorial you need about photoshop is how to remove background that's just it if you know how to remove background just slide to this side like you know slide to this my youtube channel and keep watching then you learn that's the only thing you need for training of photoshop how to use background but the other necessary step everything is here like going picking pencil going to layer or using filter using image using editor adjustment everything is here so that's just it just learn how to remove background in fact remove background is here just that not for newbies that's just it so i duplicate my work then what next that's just it for next so i'll go for the clue create a new layer and create the clipping marks should i go for the clue or what should i go for let me let's see i think i'll go for the clue oh let's see let's see okay i'm going for the clue that's just it so let's paint 
you have to paint the clothes exactly the color too also once you paint like this then you change the option here to color then the color of the clothes will pop out like we make it will make it come out nice like this and see this is cool so i'm going to fold this side thank you very much because we need to paint the clothes that's just it <music> Once you're done you also do that too for the you know for the trouser the woman's putting on so like you, you give it a light blue color then you also change the layer of to color then you have something like this then you paint every part of the trouser that's just it you can see then you have amazing color so that's just it and the next part will be you know the eyes color then after you're done with this painting with it painting the trousers i mean so then the next one will be you know the eye color the high the leaves the teeth the teeth that's just it just process by process Don't want